Hello guys, I'm Shashank. Today, uh, in this video, you will be knowing about about the Java as a career. If you take Java as a career, how it will be, we'll discuss about it. So just now I told you we we'll discuss about Java. So how it will be uh, our career if we take Java as our domain, working domain. So in all the companies, they will be working on all different different projects. But most of the projects will be dealing with applications. Will be dealing with applications. So big applications. Okay, and those projects cannot be given to any fresher, a new candidate. But the uh, thing is, you have to understand, there might be different kinds of applications like phone pay, phone pay, Mintra, Mintra, and some other third party applications, and some third party applications. So here you have to observe one thing. Whenever you do shopping inside the Mintra website using phone pay account, as soon as you complete the payment process, if any offers are there in present, okay, present uh, at present in the Mintra application, automatically all the messages will be given to the customer. So how it is happening? So here, whenever you perform the payment process with the help of phone pay or google pay application in between in between this mintra application people will be using some inbuilt apps okay we we will call it as apis we call it as apis these apis what it will do it will collect all the information of the user user mobile number and user data as well as user's interest. What are the products selected by him? Those information will be collected by the APIs of the particular team. So after that, what these APIs do? These APIs is helping us to fetch the data between the between these two applications. When, the, when there are two applications are communicating each other, in between the user information means uh, only the user name as well as the uh, what kind of product he is selected and the company name is consumed by the api this api will help the help the companies to send the messages to the customers in the form of offers in the form of offers to build these kind of apis in all the big tech companies, all the small companies also, they are using Spring Boot. They are using Spring Boot. So now, if we learn Spring Boot framework, which belongs to Spring Framework, you have a very bright career. So right now in the industry, for the Spring Boot developer, they are providing more than 8 to 20 LPA per annum. More than 8 LPA to 20 LPA. But they should have at least experience, 3 years of experience. They should have 3 years of experience minimum to get this salary. But as well as all the companies are expecting from the freshers, they should know the minimum knowledge of a Spring Framework. They have to know the knowledge of Spring Framework. If you learn Spring Framework, you can easily develop the REST APIs. So, as a fresher, you can expect at least 3 to 4 LPA. So, if you keep on working like that in any particular company, at least for 3 years, you would expect a, okay, a good basic salary. A good salary you can definitely expect. Between 8 to 20 LPA after 3 years of experience. But that too, you'd, you should have some sound knowledge on the domain which you are learning java as well as spring framework you should get some knowledge just uh, working in the company and not knowing any of the tools properly you cannot get this package this amount of salary you cannot get that until unless you work hard more and more the companies are ready to pay whatever you want so to understand the spring boot to understand the spring boot everyone should know java so you might ask me 
So do I really need to Java? I have other options like Python. Of course, Python is easy. Java is also easy, but it takes more time compared to Python. So it is always better to go with Java because if you learn Java, you can learn any other programming language very easily. Very easily you can learn any other programming language. So by learning Java, you would be joining any play, uh, any particular online course or any other institute. So what I will suggest you is, while learning Java, the institute or any other faculty is teaching you Java. So at that time, you have to do your self work more and more. You cannot depend on only that particular content. You have to go through different different blogs, different different websites, different web learning websites like Geeks for Geeks, Stack Overflow, okay, Java T Point, many other websites. But at the same time, whatever the content you learn from the faculty, you have to revise that also. So until unless you work hard, not only learning theory, along with that, practically execution is more important to learn Java. Not only Java, all other programming languages, just learning theory doesn't work. Because if you are not ready to work, there are 10 people ready to take that job. So don't think that if I learn some basics and I go and attend the interview, they would hire you. Even if you are hired, the other people work effectively, then you will become the sheep. So choose properly which language you are learning as well as keep your complete efforts in that language. If you are not keeping efforts, there are 10 people ready for the job. Don't think that you are the one you will be getting the job easily. So there is a lot of competition right now in the industry, especially in the software industry, because all kinds of streams, civil, mechanical, uh, BCom, BSc, all other people are coming into the IT industry. So there is a lot of competition. If you really work hard, the only thing you have to do, if you get uh, one or two examples, you have to explore through 6-7 examples, through blogging websites, through learning websites like Geeks for Geeks and other programming okay, uh, websites. So then you can improve step by step. So I, I suggest you to learn Java because if you learn Java, any other programming language will become very easy. If, you, uh, if it takes 3 months of time to learn Java, it takes only 15 days of time to learn the new language because you know already all the important concepts in Java. In every programming language, there will be definitely object oriented programming. So it is common in every other programming language. The only the difference will be in the syntax. Remaining everything is same. So here you have to focus on how to approach the subject as well as the most important thing as every software aspirant should learn about soft skills also. It is mandatory. So we'll discuss in the next video about soft skills. Thank you. Hope you love this video.